The average cost of a data breach is $4.8 million, and that number is climbing every year. Right now, we are living through the most dangerous period in cybersecurity history. Attacks are happening every 39 seconds. Hackers are using AI to break into systems faster than ever before. And with companies moving most of their sensitive data to the cloud, it's creating entirely new ways for criminals to steal information. If you've been thinking about getting into tech in 2025, then you've probably found yourself stuck between two big career paths cybersecurity or cloud security? And the question is, which one should you choose? I'm Suleiman, I've worked in tech for over a decade, and today I run my own businesses in consulting, software, and education. Through my academy, I've helped more than 500 students learn cloud and AI. And in this video, I'll reveal what these roles actually involve, the skills that you need, and the salaries that you can expect. By the end, you'll know exactly which path aligns with your goals. But first, let me show you why the demand for these professionals is exploding right now. McDonald's decided to modernize their hiring process with an AI chatbot called Olivia. Job applicants could chat with the AI instead of filling out traditional application forms. Sounds innovative, right? But here is where it gets really interesting. Two security researchers decided to take a casual look at this new system. Just see how secure it was. And what they found was shocking. Firstly, they tried logging into the restaurant manager portal. On a whim, they typed 123456 as both the username and the password. And guess what? It worked. They were instantly logged in with full access, but it gets worse. They discovered that by simply changing a number in the website's code, they could access the personal information of any job applicant that they wanted. Names, phone numbers, addresses, private chat messages of over 64 million people who had applied for jobs at McDonald's. Now, this wasn't technically a data breach because no malicious hackers actually stole the information. But think about this. If two researchers could find these massive security holes in just a few hours of casual testing, imagine what real cyber criminals could do. This perfectly illustrates what's happening right now. Companies are in panic mode, rushing to deploy AI chatbots, AI systems, and applications to stay competitive. But they're moving so fast, they're completely overlooking basic security principles. And the numbers, they paint a lovely picture. 61% of organizations experienced cloud-related security incidents in 2024. That's up from just 24% the previous year. And the causes are easily avoided Avoidable. Simple mistakes like leaving default passwords unchanged or accidentally making private files publicly accessible. But that's not the only problem. Companies only start worrying about their security posture after that they've been breached or hacked. Obviously, by then, it's too late. So, what does this mean for you? Well, this chaos has created a massive opportunity, and there are currently 4 million unfulfilled cybersecurity positions globally. But the shortage is even more severe in cloud security. In a survey of 1,100 IT professionals, cloud security was ranked as the number one skills shortage. Naturally, you are wondering, what exactly do these roles involve? And more importantly, which ones should you pursue? Let's start by breaking down cybersecurity. This is the practice of protecting computer systems networks, and data from digital attacks. When a bank needs to protect customer financial information from hackers trying to steal their credit card numbers, cybersecurity professionals design the defense systems. When a hospital needs to secure patient medical records from ransomware attacks, cybersecurity teams build these protective barriers. Now, in a typical day, a cybersecurity professional might watch computer screens looking for suspicious activities, respond to security alerts when something looks a little bit wrong, and also assess how risky different technology decisions might be or teach employees how to spot fake emails designed to trick them. Now, the field covers three main areas. Network security, which is protecting the cables and wireless connections that link computers together. Application security, making sure the applications and websites people use cannot be hacked. And information security, keeping sensitive data safe from the people who shouldn't see it. Now, to succeed in cybersecurity, you need to understand how attackers think and what methods that they use to break into systems, then reverse engineer it. You'll need the knowledge of security technologies like firewalls, which act like a digital security guards that block bad traffic, and encryption, which scrambles data so only the right people can read it. You need strong problem-solving skills, which are essential because you're constantly investigating potential threats and figuring out what went wrong when something breaks. And career-wise, cybersecurity offers solid progression, despite the fact that it isn't easy for beginners to land a role. Entry-level analysts get paid around seventy-five dollars to $90,000 a year, and as you progress and gain more experience, you can earn well into the six figures. There is a lot of money 
money to be made in cybersecurity. But there's a specialized branch, a subsection of cybersecurity that's seeing even higher demand and salaries. Cloud security focuses on securing cloud computing environments. First, let me explain what the cloud actually means. So it's basically storing your data and running your applications on someone else's computer that you can access through the internet rather than on computers in your own office. And here is why this matters more than ever. 95% of security professionals say that they are worried about public cloud security, making it the most urgent concern in the industry today. And this is where companies are feeling the most pain and pressure right now. All of their most sensitive information, customer credit card details, employee records, business secrets, and AI systems are all living in the cloud. And because there's a shortage of cloud security engineers, companies are struggling to secure their data. In a typical day, you might set up security controls in AWS, monitor for cloud-specific threats, and ensure compliance requirements, or fix configuration mistakes that could accidentally expose sensitive information. Now to excel, you need deep knowledge of cloud platforms. Now I recommend AWS, which controls the majority of the cloud market. And you also need to understand cloud fundamentals, identity and access management, data encryption, as well as compliance frameworks like HIPAA. Most importantly, you need to understand both cloud security principles and how cloud engineering actually works. Salary wise, cloud security engineers make a lot of money. These engineers can earn well into six figures and senior architects can make two to $300,000 per year. So the question is, which path should you choose? Now, my recommendation is to start with cloud security. And here is why. First of all, cloud security gives you more market opportunities. Not only is every company moving to the cloud, but due to the large skills gap, it's easier to get hired compared to cybersecurity. Secondly, understanding cloud security automatically makes you more valuable for cybersecurity roles. But the reverse isn't true. In fact, I train cybersecurity professionals in cloud and cloud security myself, because you're expected to know it now as part of your role. So if if that's you, then click the link in the description and book a call with my team. Thirdly, cloud security positions you at the center of the AI revolution. AI workloads are all running on the cloud. Companies are building AI applications that need cloud security professionals who understand cloud infrastructure, data protections for AI training data sets, and how to secure AI model deployments. Now, the bottom line is, while cybersecurity skills are very important, cloud security is incredibly underserved due to the lack of talent in today's market. Now look, due to AI, we are living through the big biggest technological transformation since the internet was created. Every digital interaction creates new security challenges. Every new technology introduces new vulnerabilities. So the question isn't whether security will be important, it's already critical. It always has been, even more so now. The question is whether you'll be positioned to take advantage of this opportunity. So make a choice and go with it don't waste any more time. Now, if you want to learn more about breaking into cloud security, then check out my complete cloud security roadmap right here, where I break down everything that you need to know to land your first role in this explosive field. As always, good luck. I'm rooting for you.